Hey everybody, Dusty here from Mojave Audio. I'm at an undisclosed location with uh, David Royer in his secret lair. Uh, from time to time we get customers that have problems with noises and they can be a variety of things. Uh, oftentimes they're ground loops and we're going to have David explain what is and what isn't a ground loop and some ways to deal with them. So uh, take it away David. Okay, um, a very serious issue with audio equipment is a uh, 60 cycle hum or a uh, hum that has a bunch of harmonics of uh, 60 hertz or 50 hertz if you're outside of the United States or Canada. And uh, typically hum happens because of uh, a few different things. Uh, the simplest case is where you've got a piece of equipment with a defective power supply and that produces a, a, a very steady, smooth sounding hum rather than kind of a raspy sounding hum. And I won't discuss it any further, but a serious issue with audio equipment is uh, hum. And one of the most uh, common causes of hum is what we call a ground loop. And uh, what causes a ground loop is uh, with uh, several pieces of audio equipment, you'll have a uh, shielded cable going between the various pieces of equipment. And uh, modern practice is to use three-prong AC power cords for electrical power connections for reasons of safety. And uh, the safety grounds create a rather obnoxious problem because the ground wires in the AC power cords form one big, uh, one, one leg of a loop and uh, the cable shields form another leg of a loop. And if there's a, a strong magnetic field that can be picked up in that loop, that uh, whatever gets induced into it will appear at the inputs of, say, microphone preamplifiers and the result can often be hum. And then another issue that often crops up is if you have half of your recording equipment plugged in on an outlet at one end of a building and, say, microphone power supplies plugged in at the other end of the building, you can have uh, the AC safety grounds sitting at completely different uh, voltages and you'll end up forcing uh, 60 cycle AC and its harmonics down the cable shields because of the metal chassis of the microphone power, uh, power supply being basically at one voltage and the following preamplifier at another. And that case is, is kind of a kissing cousin of a ground loop and it can be particularly bad and uh, I can demonstrate that now. This is a test rig which will produce an absolutely horrible hum. Now, a common way of breaking a ground loop or isolating AC safety grounds that are widely separated is to use one of these, uh, an adapter that was originally intended for plugging three-wire uh, plugs into two-prong outlets. And uh, these are supposed to be used, you're supposed to make a ground connection through this lug. And they're not really supposed to be used to break, uh, to break grounds in electronic equipment. And a much more satisfactory way to do it is with what I call a ground lift cable. And with the ground lift cable, the, it's nothing more than a short piece of cable with one male and one female XLR plug. And the cable shield is left disconnected at the female end. So that um, if you have, say, a microphone power supply at one end of a building, and the preamplifier at the other end of a building, you can have the cabling between the microphone and the power supply and between the power supply and the preamplifier 
uh, living in its own world and then the equipment beyond or the, the equipment starting at the microphone preamplifier and continuing there can live in a, in a separate world with the grounding being established through the AC safety grounds but the cable shield not being connected so that it rigidly ties the two pieces of equipment together. And uh, you heard that horrible buzz a minute ago. Let me demonstrate what happens if I break the cable shield. Okay, here um, I have a ground. I have a ground loop, and it's inducing a pretty severe hum. And the test set is showing a signal to noise ratio of. Uh, say 95 dB below a volt, which is rather poor. And uh, here I've broken the uh, cable shield uh, with this uh, ground lift. And the uh, signal to noise ratio is on the order of 116 dB rather than uh, 94 or 95, whatever it was. Now. We're talking about, well, 116 dB below a volt. That's uh, quite low, and the equipment is very sensitive. I would like to mention, many people use these uh, AC adapters to, uh, to break ground loops, but um, it's illegal because um, you end up creating a potentially very bad sh electric shock hazard. Um, if you have an insulation failure in a piece of equipment uh, with a metal chassis that uh, is connected to the AC power line and you've lifted the AC safety ground, uh, you could end up having the current from, the, from that short circuit find its way back to ground through cable shields and you could end up doing a, a very significant amount of damage and perhaps start a fire. So um, if you have a professional studio, um, if you have a, a, a fire safety inspection and you have a bunch of these on uh, AC power cords in the equipment in your studio, you'll flunk the, uh, the safety uh, inspection. And uh, the arrangement with breaking cable shields is a far safer, a far safer way of correcting a, a hum problem. A very handy trick if you have a hum like this in your audio equipment, a, a very handy trick to determine whether or not the issue is a ground loop is to start unplugging the AC cords on equipment. If you have hum disappear like that when you pull a plug out of an outlet and then it starts again the minute you plug it back in that indicates that you've got a grounding issue and if the hum stays away, if you use one of these things, again you've got an issue with either a ground loop or uh, widely separated AC safety grounds with uh, voltage being dumped back down the, uh, the AC safety grounds, which as I said is sort of a, it's a very close cousin of what is a classical ground loop. Um, I'm sure many of you musicians have uh, received electric shocks on stage. Uh, frequently that's brought about by uh, poor grounding uh, and widespread use of these on stage and consider yourself lucky that your career has not been cut short. Now, um, audio ground lifts are easy to build and inexpensive to build and far safer than, far safer than lifting AC safety grounds. Um, a schematic diagram is also available at Mojave Audio.